welcome to leaf hydroponic farms today we will talk about the viability of hydroponic agriculture or hydroponic farming you know the viability of any project whether it is agriculture agriculture project or some other project it all depends on the initial cost how much you have spent and how much is the return on your project the best way to make any hydroponic farming viable is to cut the capital cost in the beginning to reduce the installation cost as much as possible this is very very important as the normal saying goes a rupee saved is a rupee earned so let us talk about how can you cut the cost of hydroponic cultivation if you hire a consultant they normally give you a very heavy price for per square meter and also they suggest the top of the equipment to be installed on your hydroponic farm whether it is automation whether it is sensing the environmental factors whether it is bringing down the temperature whether it is nutrient dispensation along with ph and ec control of the nutrient all these things can be automated to the highest level but how much you should go it is comparable to purchasing a car you purchase the base model or you purchase the top model both serve the same purpose the only matter which affect the decision is the cost and your affording power similarly in hydroponic farming you must understand the viability of the project i have seen many people started the hydroponic farming with great enthusiasm they spend lot of money through the consultative process they set up beautiful automatic most modern hydroponic farm but ultimately they had to shut them down because they became non viable the first and the foremost thing is what kind of land you are using for hydroponic farming if you have a land which is valuing 50 lakh 60 lakh 70 lakh or 1 crore per acre don't go for setting up a hydroponic farm that will be under utilization of that land but if you have your own land ghar ki murgi dal barabar then you can you know your home grown chicken is equivalent to any vegetable as the normal say so secondly what you want to do there you want to install equipment which should be fully automated should you have it there are three things which you must consider before setting up a hydroponic farm obligatory things to have good to have and need not have you must ensure that you install the best possible obligatory infrastructure including automation including the equipment including other infrastructure components then you if you can see that you have a good market and there is a good viability of your project then you can go in for good to have kind of list and you should always discard need not have disk because that list will increase your capital cost now to give you few examples when you set up a hydroponic farm many a time the consultant will suggest that you concrete the whole floor lay out a concrete floor with intermittent grit paths or grit with intermittent paved paths why should you have that when you have an alternative in the form of a weed mat here we are using weed mat which is absolutely fine in our faridkot farm we are using it for the last 4 years and they are working very fine so why should you have a paved floor or a pakka floor or a grit floor it will save you lots and lots of money secondly some people suggest going for dutch buckets going for other highly equip, uh, highly costly equipment why should you a dutch bucket will cost you 120 rupees per piece and will support two plants a 24 24 60 Uh, sorry 24 24 40 grow bag 
will cost you 2022 20, rupees and will support two plants the volume of the grow bag will be 22 liter and the volume of the dutch bucket is less than that so why should you not opt for grow bags then the only difference is the leaching part the leachate you can adjust your drip irrigation in such a fashion that the leachate is minimized then some people say you should have online real time ec control and the ph control system when you have grow bags you don't need to have this type of system you simply have a good nutrient dispensation system when you mix the nutrients with stock solution and use it by diluting it to 1 is to 100 or 1 is to 50 or 1 is to 50 you check the ph once you check the ec once and then adjust your dispensation system accordingly once you adjust your dispensation system and your stock solutions are of same concentration your ro water is of the same ec then you need not worry about the ec or the ph of the solution it will be exactly the same every time if by any means the ph of the grow bag goes up on measurement don't worry about that just irrigate or drench with humic acid which will bring down the ph considerably within no time if somebody is very sensitive to humic acid then he can use citric acid and the combination of malic acid in a desired concentration and that will also bring down the ph then third is automation what kind of automation you require do you require high level of sensor do you require carbon dioxide sensors do you require oxygen sensors do you require high sensitive humidity and temperature sensors i feel you don't require these you can buy a very small reasonably priced 2000 rupees to 3000 rupees worth of one sensor and install that sensor at a place where the temperature of the poly house is the highest so that if you can control and manage that part of the poly house into a reasonable range of temperature then it is very certain that the entire poly house will be having the same temperature this is what we are doing here now the question is sometimes people say in a fan pad system you should have circulatory fans why every circulatory fan which is a simple exhaust fan with a cylinder attached to it cost about 9 to 10000 rupees if you see their price but why should you install such a costly fan for circulation you can always go in for uh, locally made fans which are normal fans maybe swinging fans at a cost of 2000 to 2500 so similarly you can save a large amount of money by putting reasonably costing but very reliable and efficient equipment on your poly house this will reduce your installation cost of the poly house from 5000 to 6000 which normally is taken up to 10000 by the consultants so there is a saving of 4000 rupees per square meter and that saving is quite appreciable it will reduce the cost of your initial installation of the hydroponic system and which in fact will improve or increase the viability of your project so like this you can work comfortably work on the numbers again and again discuss the equipment again and again must have good to have and need not have these three lists you prepare right in the beginning depending on the cost of your establishment of the project you can eliminate the equipment and use labor for more rather than automation if the labor is not available at any time then you can compensate that by installing more automation on your uh, hydroponic farm but at the end of the day it is the viability if you have the most modern hydroponic farm but you are not making money out of it there is no fun in installing such a farm un unless and until you have some other objective if you have a least you know modern farm and you are making lot of money out of it i am sure that is the kind of hydroponic farming which is required if you feel that the information given by us on our channel is quite useful to you then please like this video and share it with your friends and other hydroponic farmers don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever we post a new 
video you will get notified and your knowledge and your you will be empowered to handle the hydroponic system comfortably so this is how you should be thinking while establishing a hydroponic farm we at the leaf hydroponic farms are committed to disseminate the knowledge of hydroponic farming to make it a viable option and the most modern or the future of agriculture thank you very much